Welcome back. It is cooking time with HEB. We are outside of our studios with our good friend, Chef Marvin. Welcome back to KPRC. Thank you. Okay, so the star of the show here today is pimento cheese. It is. So I have a couple of different things that we're going to be doing today. First off, we're going to start off with our pimento grilled cheese using our pimento cheese that you could get in our deli. And then we also have our ham off the bone, which is also in our deli section. So all we're going to do is put the pimento cheese on some of our sourdough. Which this is our scratch baked sourdough mm -hmm. that you can find in our bakery. And you want to do this on both sides of the bread. Just What's in the pimento cheese? So there's cheddar cheese, there's mayonnaise, the pimento peppers, mm -hmm. um, and a little bit of dill. So we're just going to top this off with the ham. Cover it up. And it's going to go into a nice pan over some medium low heat. We're adding our butter oh, in there. That sizzle is music to my ears. <laughs> and we're just going to set it there. Now we're going to leave it there for about three to five minutes. Three to five minutes on each on side. On each side just to get it nice and golden brown until the cheese is nicely melted. So I actually prepared one that we have right up front here. Um, this is going to be what your final product should look like. And what I'm serving that with is actually our broccoli salad, mm -hmm. which we have some of our better than good bacon vinaigrette in here. Sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds cheddar cheese, and red onion. It's the, a nice healthy touch. I mean, relatively speaking, I mean, you've got broccoli as the main ingredient. So, yes. I mean, you, you feel like you're getting Somewhat some, of a healthy some benefit. meal. Yep. Sure. <laughs> And then we have a nice um, dip too as well, Ooh. using pimento cheese and our jalapeno cream cheese. All I did was mix both of those up. And we added some of, we're gonna add some cheddar cheese over the top. And all we wanna do is bake this in the oven, 350, for about 40 minutes until the cheese is nice and golden brown. Now what I like to do is I always like to finish off my dishes with whatever's in there, so I added some some of our buyer's best candied jalapenos right over there. I also have pickles that we could add to the side of our pimento grilled cheese. And aside from the cooking time for the dip here, I think what's great about these recipes, you can just kind of throw them together in a matter of minutes. So yeah, if you're gonna have some uh, guests coming over, this, this literally takes about five minutes to put together. You don't need to use the jalapeno cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese if that's all you have at home. Um, we're serving the dip actually with our Central Market corn tortilla chips. I have the blue and the white here. And then the, um, we have a pimento cheese right up front mm -hmm. there with our wheat crisp. And this is great for kids. This is great if you have company coming over around lunchtime. Yep. I think everybody's gonna be happy. Yes, sir. You can't lose. No. Chef Marvin, thank you so much for a look. At these recipes, just head on over to our website, clicktohouston.com. Stay with us, we'll be right back.